Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work and as you can see we are living in a brand new spanking home <laughs> um, so this is called the Spanglish because it has a very Spanish style on the outside but inside is all modernized it is all American hence why I called it Spanglish if you guys watch the movie, you should know what I mean. But yeah. Um, so we are technically right next door to our old house. So it wasn't too difficult for these guys to move into here. And this house does cost about 79,000 simoleons. So I did use money cheats. But whatever remaining funds we had is basically what we left off with. So no cheating there. I don't think. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I did actually do a speed build for this. If you guys haven't checked it out go and check it out just just because I it was a very quick speed build I didn't take too long I didn't put too much time into it it probably took me about three hours time to do everything from scratch and then finishing up with all the decor but yeah I do really like this and it is something I got off uh, Google images for some inspiration um, the outside pretty much looks like you know one of the images I found but the inside is on me so this is what the backyard looks like and I don't know, you know, I'm not a big fan of poles, but for this house, I feel like it just works. So uh, let me give you guys a very quick tour in case you haven't seen my speed build. Um, so we have our basic living room with a little computer on the side. And then with this room, I didn't know what to do with this. So I just made it into a study so you know maybe our adults or children or future children can get some time alone and then we have the kitchen and you guys know I'm not really a big fan for bright colors but like I said for this house everything works <laughs> and then we have our dining room in here right now it's only you know a table for three just because I am hoping to get Ella pregnant soon and then we have our bathroom here with a little private um, toilet area. So, yeah. And then down here. Yeah, below the stairs, I totally put like a barricade around it. And I didn't know what to put in here just because, you know, it looked very plain. So I added it in this um, plant decor. And surprisingly, it looks really nice like that. <laughs> and then comes upstairs, we have our master bedroom a walk-in closet and I'm really a big fan for walk-in closets lately I don't know why but as you can see here we have like this huge light above this poster to kind of like showcase it and looks very like I don't know like retail store like but this poster is actually from get to work and then we have our master bedroom that does connect through the walk-in closet and then we have our little girl and little boys room, which they do have their own little private shared uh, bathroom. I was about to say bedroom. But yeah, I am expecting to have kids so we can try out the retail and the scientist career eventually. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Not really much to see. And yeah. <laughs> so if you guys like it like I said go ahead and uh, check out the gallery it is up for downloads and uh, alright so we're gonna move on with this gameplay so today we are gonna be following Jacob on his medical career and he does start working about four minutes so we're just gonna let the time run out and we're gonna join him and ba bam <laughs> so let's go Alright, so we did not get a little greeting, which was unexpected. I was, you know, expecting a whole, like, oh, training day to, like, Ella's job, but nothing. But that's fine. Alright, so I do want him to get focused before we do anything else. Let's see, where is the chess table? I remember there was a chess table, right? Like, in the workroom? Or am I tripping? Is there no chess table? I guess there isn't oops yeah I thought there was a chess table so we can get him focused or was that the police station yeah no. but anyways let's go ahead and have him wash his hands because he wants to wash hands to sterilize germs and uh, I don't think we will be getting a promotion today but I could be wrong Hey, this is not the same assistant from last time. I don't think. Huh. 
Alright, so he wants to discuss work with co-workers. Let's go ahead and chat with our assistant here. I don't know. Complain about work? Well, we are discussing work, so I don't know. <gasps> She's like, ooh. Don't be gossiping. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I don't know. Ooh, let's go ahead and uh, oh, discuss work. There we go. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. And then uh, he wants to go ahead and chat with the patient. So we're gonna go ahead and do so. Come over here. Oh wait, he wants to chat with co-workers first. Why couldn't that come up earlier? But ooh, Ella's off to work. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and have her work hard. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do a heartfelt compliment. Oh, my nose is killing me. Alright, hope nothing comes up with co-workers. Oh, you know, screw it. We're gonna come here and... Uh, let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction. Oh. She has the same symptom as... What's, this, what's that little boy's name? Alexander Goff? I forgot his name. But she has the same symptom. I don't know why a lot of my sims are bald now. Like, the community sims. Oh, here he is. It was Alexander Goff. So he's gonna come in and... Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> so are you gonna do a friendly introduction? Alright, so we chatted with our patient. Now he wants to... I don't know. I mean, if it's not in our task, I kind of don't want to do it. But let's go ahead and wash our hands again. And then let's ask about day. Or actually, he wants to mop up this puddle. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and mop. Why is this puddle black? Oh, ew. ew. <laughs> Dude, this puddle is hella black. Like, hella, hella black. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do wash hands and a mop of puddle. Oh my god, my nose is like so seriously itching. Alright, so we got a bronze rating. Da, 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 da. And then we're gonna come here and ask about coworkers day. Let's do a friendly ask about day and he wants to make the bed. Which bed needs to be made? This one. I feel like there's not enough staff in this house or in this in the hospital. Or am I just tripping? Dude, there are so many patients in line and she's just like on the computer doing god knows what and yet we're here chit-chatting with her <laughs> oh boy oh my god dude this line is seriously packing and growing all right let's go ahead and chat with co-workers um, pretend to fire that's that's mean well, let's go ahead and uh, so a bright day. He is seriously uncomfortable. I wonder if you guys get really annoyed of me sniffing all the time. <laughs> well, we're gonna do a heartfelt compliment. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, so he wants to discuss co-workers. Let's do so. Dude, like... Can we? Oh, discuss work. Oops, don't gossip. Don't gossip. Don't be the office gossip now. Um, discuss work. There you go. Dude, I want to do like actual treating our patients and you know all of that, but right now our task is not telling us to do so. So I don't want to get a bad like you know do a bad day's work just because we're gonna follow the daily task. 
Dude, all he wants to do is chat with coworkers, which sucks. She busy. She saying, "Get out of my face! You're interrupting me." And like, dude, look at the little boy. He is so mad. <laughs> that little boy is just like seriously pissed. He's like, "Come on, stop talking to Jeremy." <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. All right, can we do something else now? Besides with coworkers. All right, complain work. Let's, let's do it, I guess. All right, that's done. Come on, something else. Chat with coworkers. Dude, we're gonna like complete this just by chatting with coworkers. Holy cow, there's a lot of people here. I might just upload two parts today just because I want to do, you know, some actual medical assistant work. Alright, let's go wash our hands and make the bed. Since I don't think we made this yet. And he is tense. I don't know where is this beer that everyone's talking about. So make bed, or grab a snack between seeing patients. All right, you know what? So we're pretty much done with our task because we have like a super high rating, and yet we still cannot get a promotion. All right, let's go ahead and treat patient, examine, take temperature. Let's see if he's gonna shock her like he did with his first patient. With the little boy. <laughs> Oh, Dude, what the hell? Aww. It was a success. <laughs> uh, go ahead and treat the patient first. Or discuss general health. So Jacob has successfully performed a practice examination on a patient. The test results seem valid, but the specific data is a bit over its head and will be plast plast passed along to a physician for a diagnosis. Yeah. Uh, oh, so let's have him use the restroom and research health reports. Is that what it says? Research health reports on medical journal. Yes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and extend it when the time comes so we don't waste like 45 minutes. Oh my god, there's just so many people here and she is fully neglecting them. Come on, Jacob. So I think by the next day we join him on uh, you know the day at the doctor's career venue uh, -huh. uh we should be getting a promotion because right now i don't think we are oh now you want to get focused Jeez. all right so go ahead and uh can we treat patient no we cannot the patient must be diagnosed with the appropriate illness to receive this treatment. Oh. oh, I wanted to extend. It didn't even ask me if I wanted to extend. What the hell? <laughs> so, Jacob did a fantastic job today. Promotions and community health are surely in the future. And he has promoted to orderly. He makes an additional five simoleons, really. For a grand total of 23, and he received 192 bonus, new clothes, Dr. Xavier raised display, and not so blind eye chart. Oh, so his next shift is Saturday at 7 a.m. Alright, so home sweet home, I guess. And, ooh, so for, for him, bleh. Okay, I totally can't talk twisted. In order for him, in order for Jacob to get his next promotion, we have to treat two patients. So that's what we're going to do. And let's check out our inventory. I think we got some new items. And you know what? We got to buy a chess table. That's what we need to do. Uh, let me see. Chess table. We'll go ahead and put it outside. Like like over here and I kind of want to extend this a little bit just cuz it's supposed to be like this <laughs> oops uh, let's add one more holy cow that was a lot of simoleons all right uh, let's go ahead and buy a chest table and I do want to get an exercising machine for Ella 
but I don't know if we can. Let's go ahead and put it here. And you know what? Instead of making this uh, an outdoor kind of thing, let's go and put this here. I didn't think to put that there when I first built it, but that makes a little more sense. But I mean, with the little chairs, it is much more cuter, but oh well. Let's see how much is a exercising machine. 900 simoleons oh my god all right let's let's just go ahead and buy it or can we okay we're gonna get a punching bag that's a much cheaper alternative i'm gonna go ahead and put this here wait do i want that color i mean it does match the house but it kind of blends in with the floor as well all right let's go ahead and use this one So let's have Jacob cook up a meal for, you know, later. Because there isn't anything in the fridge, I don't think. Is there? No, there isn't. So let's go. Oh, we can actually sell some items in our inventory to make some simoleons. So let's go ahead and do that. Because when we get the bills, it's going to be freaking expensive. Because this is a relatively big house. Let's go ahead and sell all these items. Ooh, we don't need this anymore. I mean, it'd be nice to have it, but why do you have food in here? Um, that's strange. Let's put it in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. And then we're gonna go and sell. We're just gonna clear up their inventory because we don't need all these. And yeah, we just don't need these. I mean, I'll keep the ingredients since, like, these little things that we found during our outdoor retreat. And what are you doing? Crazy lady talking in our front door? Talking to herself? I thought Ella came home from work, but it's probably her that I'm mistaken for Ella. <laughs> I don't know when to have them go and start making babies, but I think it'll be soon. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this so we know we get some simoleons we're not you know completely flat broke and we can at least afford our bills you know i think these might be worth a lot no only, only a dollar each uh let's go ahead and drag this in oh that's what i wanted to do i went into the buy mode so i can go into the family inventory duh Oh, so we can go ahead and use these as decor, right? They're just decor. Yeah, let's go ahead and place this here. I don't know, is that a little weird? That's a little awkward. That's not. Why do we have potato in here? What, what the hell? Oh, we can't sell it? Okay, we're gonna have to throw it away. Somehow, some way. we can sell this we don't need this anymore but I still want to put this up this looks really cool and I should put it a little higher let's put it here I don't know this is kind of random but I don't want to sell it so we're not gonna sell it but we need to throw these away because they're useless um what the hell oh I was like what the hell's going on why is it sitting on top Right, and I think Ella has some stuff in her inventory, but we're gonna go and sell that later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part here. Um, and then I'll probably have the next part uploaded a little later today as well, just because I want to try, you know, treating patients for once instead of just talking to co-workers. That wasn't too much fun. And I'm going to play a little off camera, just kind of build up their skills and then get Ella to build up her fitness skills. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this part. It wasn't too eventful because we basically did the same thing as we did in part one. But yeah, like always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And I will see you guys in the next part. Bye everyone. Thank you.